Hello and welcome to another episode of Guidelines to Not Sucking at Video Reviewing. In the last video we discussed scripting, so what are we going to talk about this time? Writing! Uh, not entirely sure that's spelled right. Um, let me try that again. Writing. Hmm. That still doesn't look right. Uh, you know, screw it. I'm just going to come back to that later. Stupid overrated spelling. Writing is the representation of language in a textual medium through the use of a set of signs or symbols. Or at least that's what Wikipedia tells me. Because I believe everything that Wikipedia says is true. Because it talks to me. Literally. Sup, martial horror. Sup, Wikipedia. Unfortunately, writing became obsolete when texting declared war on it. Soon you became you, R became R, and of course we all know what WTF stands for. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, I still don't know what the f*** that even means. But scripts cannot be forged from texting. They must be shaped with proper sentence structure and correct spelling. But how can I help you improve your writing skills ors? Well, here is the greatest advice I have ever given. If you cannot write, go to school. I cannot teach you all that shit in one video, but I can give you some tips. Here is the first one. Don't be redundant with redundant word usage. This includes phrases too. So let's play a drinking game. Every time I am redundant with my word usage, take a swig. You should have already had two. Anyway, I notice that I often say, to be fair, with that said, and snuggle pops quite often. Ha! Did you see what I did there? I said often twice in the same sentence. That is a no-no. It should be three times within the same sentence. Stop taking notes, that was a joke. But expand your vocabulary. If you don't know of any alternate ways to say something, then Google something like, what is another word for something? I suspect that I'm missing something, though, like I just said something redundant. Hmm. Oh well, personally, I use word hippo because that minimizes the chances of me saying something redundant. Number two, let the sentences flow. Don't sound choppy. I rewrite my scripts many different times because even words demand the right kind of pacing. Example, the cinematography is very good. The wide shots are gorgeous. That's pretty choppy. Instead, it should read something like, The cinematographer provides many gorgeous wide shots. That sounds a lot better. Fill out your sentences, but don't make them bloated. You shouldn't have more than two commas a sentence, and the word and should only appear once. Although there are exceptions. Number three, don't over-articulate. Use words that make you sound intelligent, but not unintelligible. You want people to know what you're saying, but you also don't want to sound like a simpleton. But I'd argue that sounding natural is more important. Using too much fancy terminology can make you seem pretentious, so you have to find the right balance. Number four. Rewriting is your friend. If you write a script and the script is not a very good script, then scrap it and start from the beginning. Then it will have that nice new script smell. In the past, I was just too lazy to care, but these days I will rewrite my scripts five or six times before I'm pleased with them. Sometimes I'll even do this in the middle of shooting the video. I didn't give this last one an official number because it should be obvious. Unless you're fluent, don't use a second language. If you are Japanese and your English is rudimentary, then do your review in Japanese. Then at least you'll have a fan base who could understand you. So that's really it. I can't teach you how to write. However, I can tell you not to make the same mistakes that I made. I have fallen victim to at least three of these points in the past. These are the deadly sins of video reviewing and should be avoided. If you want to see a reviewer who sidesteps these points perfectly and delivers eloquently written reviews, check out Awan Citizen. This does not mean that I am a fan, it just means that he's exceptional when it comes to everything that I've described above. You'll have to wait until I review him before I reveal the final verdict. Thanks for watching and for everybody who's been playing the redundant word usage drinking game, you're probably dead. If you're still alive, then that means you've been cheating, and therefore you are dead to me. My name is Marshall Horror, and I'm here to tell you that those who cannot do, critique. Hmm, you know, I never did find out how to spell writing. Let's check on Microsoft Word. God bless spell check. W-R-I-G-H-T-I-N-G.
No, that has red underlining. That means it's wrong. Right click. W R I T I N G. Wait a minute, isn't that what I had before? You mean people know that I can't spell even though I spelled it right? Ah! Oh, well, they're all dead anyway. <laughs>